Welcome to a short video on how to use Zoom and VLC and PowerPoint for virtual Peace Education program courses. So first, I've already got my Zoom open. So this is my Zoom meeting. Um, I don't see my participants, I don't see my chat. So let's open up these two windows. So first I'll open up my chat up in the top corner. I open up my participants so I can see exactly who's logged in. With this window, I can see that um, who is muted, who's got the camera turned on and off. You can see I'm on another computer too, and I've turned my camera and my microphone off on both. As a technical host, I like to keep myself invisible, basically. So there's no distractions to the audience. The only person that is visible is the facilitator. In that way, it's extremely clean. Um, in this window, again, I have a few more options, such as mute all. If I go to more, I have more options like lock meeting. I'll come to this later on within this course. So this is the basic setup. Now, if I was going to share a video, how would I do that? Well, I can go to share screen. And I don't have any other screens open at the moment. I do have my desktop, and I could share that. But the problem with sharing a desktop is that I've got so many icons on my desktop. I've got so many more buttons over there. And all this is really a distraction to what's actually happening on screen. So I avoid doing this. So I don't have any screens at the moment. So let's open up a VLC. Let's drag in a video. So we've got the choice of MKV or ISO files within the Peace Education program. So let's go for an MKV. I will drag this in there. And now you can see it's opened up. The video is playing. Um, I normally pause it. Let me just downsize it a little bit and put it over here in the corner. I close my Finder window. So now if I go to Share within Zoom, it gives me a, a window called VLC. Let's click on that. Now at the bottom, you've got two checkboxes. Um, first one is Share Computer Sound and Optimize Screen for Video Clip. So let's turn both of these on. By just clicking the Optimize Screen, both will turn on automatically. I've got my VLC highlighted, and now I could say Share, but wait. I don't want to start the video halfway through. So I'll push my video back to the start. That is all ready to go. When the facilitator says, let's play video, I can share the screen, share the screen, and press play. Now let's just stop sharing. Now you notice within the share box, you had the play buttons at the bottom, you had the text of the screen at the top. It was quite distracting to the video itself. So let's try and do something with VLC to, to take away all this. So if we go to VLC, I can go to the top, go to the preferences, and you've got several tabs at the top. One of them is video. Let's just go to that. And you've got three check marks. First one is enable video. We do want to leave this one on. Second one says show video within the main window. Let's turn that off. And the next one is window decorations. Let's turn all that off. We want to make sure that this window here is nice and clean. So let's save that away. Close VLC. Reopen VLC. And it looks the same until I drag in a video. So let's drag in that same video, the MKV that we had. And let's see what happens. So now it opens up in a separate window. Let me just pause that. And let's make that window nice and small so we could put it up here. So the only difference we have between Mac and PC is the initial setup of VLC. So let's open up VLC. Then we go to Tools and Preferences. So in Preferences, we go to Interface, which is the first section. Then we go down and see Show Controls in Full Screen Mode. We take the tick mark off there. 
next line down, we see integrate in interface. We take the tick mark off that as well. Next, we move over to the video tab and we take off the tick mark on window decorations. Now we just close down VLC and reopen it. We could drag an MKV into it now and you can see it opens up in a separate window. All the controls are still on this other window. So now your, your video window is nice and clean. All your controls such as play, pause and your volume control remains on this window. Okay, so now we have two windows within VLC. We have our play window, which is over here, which you can see there's no markings on it at all. It is just pure video. On the main window, I still have my play and I still have my volume control and all the buttons are on this window now. So now if I go into my, my zoom and say share screen, it gives me a couple of choices now. One, it gives me the standard video um, pane over here, which is the main window of VLC. I don't want to uh, share that. I do want to share this one over here, which is just the video. So let's click on that. Make sure these two at the bottom are still checked and share. Now, if I go back to the beginning, press play. It plays nice and cleanly within Zoom. Let's stop sharing. So, that's how to get a clean window within Zoom using VLC. Next one is that maybe the facilitator also has a PowerPoint presentation, a slide to show. So let's open up a, a slide in PowerPoint. So I have one over here. So if I open up that, here this is a slide. Now, if I was just to go to present slide, because again, if I share this whole window, I've got all these buttons at the top. It'll look quite messy, but let's just have a look and see what it looks like. So if I go over here, go to my PowerPoint, I share that. And you can see my mouse moving, the cursor moving around the screen. So it is quite distracting. You still got all these buttons, even though you can minimize these buttons, it is extremely distracting. Let's stop sharing that. Let's go back into PowerPoint now and see what we can do. So I could go into slideshow or go to the bottom of the screen and I could say play from start. And now you could see that it plays full screen. Could I use that in Zoom? No, because that means I would have to share my desktop. So I don't want to do that. Let's escape on that. Instead, I want to go to setup slideshow. Within Setup Slideshow, you've got three buttons at the top. One is present by a speaker full screen. I don't want to do that. Browse by an individual window. I do want to do this. Browse at a kiosk full screen. I don't want to do full screen. So your best option is to go to individual window. Say OK. Now if I press say present screen, it just presents it within that screen. I could size that down move it up. So now I have the two windows that I would like to share. If I go into my zoom now and say share, I have this screen over here, which is my, my Microsoft PowerPoint. I can say share. And now that should look extremely clean. Stop sharing. So this is an actual setup for a virtual peace education program. So first I'm going to open up the slide that the facilitator would like to play at the end. And I'm just making sure that the settings for this slide are correct to be played within the window and not full screen. And you can see I'm now going to resize it down so it fits onto my desktop without interfering with anything else on my screen. Next I'm going to go to the video itself. Double click on the video, it opens up. Again, I'm going to size it down and move it to a location where it won't interrupt anything else I'm doing too. It's important to put stuff on your desktop in a way that 
if you move your mouse, you're not going to go over it, or if an alert happens, then it doesn't actually interfere with any of the stuff that you're showing. So this is a, an actual zoom. So I'm opening up the participants folder. And just remember, I need to go into my notifications and turn do not disturb on. Extremely important. And I've got my chat window open. Now I'm going to size them up into a location where, again, nothing's going to interfere with it. I could see it clearly. I could see what's happening. I could see all the people in there. And so it's all pretty much set up for that point. So this is how your screen should look when you're doing a, a peace education program. Now I've opened the, my share window and I've got the video ready. It's queued up and I've got the two little check marks at the bottom of my screen clicked and I'm ready to share. As soon as the facilitator say, says, let's see the video, I can press share and then go to VLC and press play. And you can see on the right hand screen, I'm allowing people into the training from the waiting area. So I'm gonna to go to the participants folder, go to the facilitator's name, right click on it and say spotlight. What spotlight does, it allows the picture of the facilitator to stay on screen no matter what other people do. Facilitator has said um, play video, so I shared the screen and I press play on VLC. I then go to the participants window, go to each member that is there and say stop video. In that way the focus stays on the video that I'm playing and not on other people's pictures. So now the video is coming to the end and I'm going to fade down the audio. I stop the video and stop sharing. Then I go to the participants area and start turning on everybody else's uh, video by saying ask to start video. In that way all the participants can actually um, start turning the cameras back on. Now I'm getting ready to put the slide on. So I select the slide, get ready, and then when the facilitator says let's see the slide, now remember earlier I had turned on spotlight for the facilitator. Now that still remains on at this point. So as soon as the facilitator stops speaking and allows other people to participate, I go into their name, right click and say stop spotlight. So the facilitator has asked to play the slide. So I'll go to my share window and say start. So now the slide is on. And then to change slide, all I need to do is go into the corner of that box and just click. Clicking will go to the next page in that slideshow. And that's it. Thank you very much.